So next, let's take another look at our wireframe and see what else we got. All right, we're gonna move down here and do this thing now. And this is a navigation item with some tabs at the top. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six tabs. Fantastic, we can do that. Bootstrap actually has navigation built into the boot, strappy straps of the boot. Zoom up, I think that's in the components. Navbar, navs, tabs. Mm, let's do tabs, yeah, we want tabs. Okay, so it's gonna be nav, uh, pre nav tabs, role, presentation, class active. Okay, I think I got that. We need to set up the grid for the nav. So let's go back, back, back to the row. And I'm gonna call this row, uh, what is it gonna call, nav, Da, uh, class nav dash tabs. Now it's too early to do that. We need to put, we need to make a column. Column XS, uh, actually let's do small 12. We gotta save these navs because we're gonna put a nav, or no, we can do a nav is gonna be 12 columns. I'm just trying to think here, like how to nest these things best. So nav is, is we're gonna use the element, uh, the HTML element of the nav and make it 12 columns wide inside of the row that's gonna be a div. I guess it could be a section. It could be a nav itself. And then make this just regular 12 columns. Let's do that. And um, we're gonna have a UL inside of here, not a caps UL, a UL and we're gonna make that the nav, the, the bootstrap nav. Let's put some space so we can see it ourselves here. Okay, and then inside of that, we're gonna have some list items and we can actually make a few and we'll use the trick on um, uh, Coda to do multi-line edits. And list items and needed to uh, make a nested anchor tag in there, ref so that we can have it linked to stuff. And then inside of there, we're gonna put the list, the names or the labels of the tab. So I'm just gonna like, maybe this is like an Amazon store. So like books. That's good enough. Okay, so I zoomed that up so you didn't have to watch me like decide on what to put in these things, but these are just a general navigation. Let's press save and take a look at what we got, hopefully. We do have some navigations. Oh, to make the first one active, the the list item has to have an a class of active. Oops, not class, uh, active. And then it will be, it will have like the, you know, the border around it. Cool, looks good. Uh, in our wireframe though, we have like a more of like a border, like a more of a separation, not just this line that Bootstrap gives it gives us but we can harness the style of already of Bootstrap and kind of just add a little bit more style onto this. So style equals uh, background. Now I know that some of you are cringing right now because I'm using inline styles, but this is not about uh, styling and setting up and organizing uh, style sheets that will be you know, useful in the future. This is about just using the bootstrap grid, which is what I'm hopefully doing right here. And I'm sure a lot of you are actually more uh, kind of used to the bootstrap methodology as well. And hopefully, I don't know, you're doing a better job than I am if you're following along. So uh, let's put some border radius on this mug. And that's gonna be like, looks like maybe five, five, 50, 50, five pixels. Uh, five pixels. So when you're doing shorthand for border radius, here's how it works. The first number is going to be top left and then top right. And then we're just going to move around clockwise, bottom right, bottom left. So I want zero and zero for the last two. And that should be good. There we go. So it looks more like our, our uh, thumbnail example. We have the gray behind it and there's a little bit more padding above. Not like that. Fantastic. So we have our header and our navigation and we're gonna try to work through all of these columns and these different modules in this video. It might be a little a bit of a long video, guys. I think we're already at like 10 or 20 minutes.